Ah, he told me I deep up, we ain't gonna talk about that neither. Fish, he told me I deep up, we ain't gonna talk about that neither. Many niggas is pussy, I know. Like, how many times we gonna throw? Back through the well, back through the O's. Like, somebody really gotta go. Like, wait, who the fuck is the S.Co? That nigga linked with Op, that's a no. Suck dick. Yo, what's up? It's your boy Tyco back on another video. And today, we starting on my core. We jumping straight into it. This uh six like a small guard dribble tutorial. I'm going over badges, top three best jump shots, six hop jumpers, Aussie slide, momentum spams, Steve Francis spams, Trey Young hop, all the basic shit. And then I'm gonna drop an advanced dribble tutorial. And without further ado, let's get into it. And I'm not, I'm not really gonna explain why I use what I use badge wise. I mean, I don't even got the build capped out fully, but this is what I would suggest for shooting. I don't know if this is what, you know, it's what I would suggest you use. For playmaking. So one thing I want to make clear is hyperdrive. It in hyperdrive and break starter. So the thing with them too is hyperdrive with, with what they claim is when you come up the court, you dribble way faster. I've tested it. With or without, to me, I don't see a difference at all at any, like, at Hall of Fame, at gold, silver, none of that. So, best takeover to run for guard. You're either the shot creating and sharp. Or sharpshooting and playmaking. The, the, the number one, though, is sharpshooting and play. Those are the two best takes to run. You could change out the sharp for the shot creating if you would like to. Here are the best SIGs. Okay, so for the signature size-ups, this is all preference. Either you can use um, Giannis or you can use Steve Francis for the dribble tutorial. I'm gonna use Steve Francis. I'm not. I both are really good though. But in this tour, I'm gonna show the Steve Francis spam and all that too. Here's the best sigs. Make sure you also use the Kyle Lowry hop jumper. So you got Aussie slide. Make yeah, like I said, make sure you had a, a Kyle Lowry hop jumper on. And also, I'm gonna be going over the best dunk animations. Make sure you use the Trey Young fadeaway too, or Steph Curry. The best one in the game, though, is Trey Young for small guards. These are the best dunk animations to have for a 6 one. I could be wrong, but this is what I've seen to be the best with and be the most unblockable with. Also, they're kind of just flashy, too. So we're here at the top three jump shots for small guards. So this one right here, John Stockton, Oscar Robinson, Oscar Robinson is like the best one of them all. It's also my favorite. I've noticed Sosa and Nolan Malin, a lot of a lot of 2K content creators use this one. The this is like real, it's a smooth mix between like fast and clean, very easy to time. This one right here is my all-time favorite and the one that I currently use. Kevin Porter Jr., Steph Curry, Steph Curry. And then the third jump shot, you could just change the release one and two, both to Oscar Robinson, um, which is the fastest jump shot in the game from what I know. This is the fastest jump shot in the game. It's also clean and very easy to time. Don't worry about the timing impact. Timing impact doesn't matter as long as you know how to time the jump shot. 
Now that that's all said and done, let's get into the tutorial. Alright, so the first move I'm going to be teaching y'all is a snatch back. Very simple, very easy. I'm, all, I'm not doing a hand cam or anything, but I will just put up a can, like a little controller with arrows so you can see how you do it. If you are too slow in the video at any point in time, Also, my controller is a little broken too, and um, I got into an accident recently. My fingers all messed up, so if I'm just doing it, like if random shit start happening during the tutorial, uh, this is why. Hey, 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 hey. The next move I'm gonna be teaching you is a Trey Young hop, so like the crab from 22. This is uh, where the Trey Young signature size ups come in. You could do this to crab your opponent. You could do this to do a misdirection. You can use this for pretty much everything. To start off combos too, you can even do it into a Trey Young, a Trey Young into a snatch, just like that. To start off a combo, the snatch bags are very effective in this game, especially this year. Next one I'll be teaching y'all is like. The uh, crab, so it's pretty much like hey, hey, right slide here. tool. So you come with the court, you don't have to hold RT, but you can if you want to. You can just come down the court or hold your left stick up, you flick down on your right stick. You just come with the court, you just flick down. Next move is a Steve Francis spam. See, Steve Francis spam is actually so much easier now that I found out how you do this. So what you're going to do is hold your left stick diagonally down to the right and flick your right stick diagonally up to the left and make sure your balls in your, and the balls in your right hand. And it should pretty much look like um, this should be the Steve Francis spam. This is how you left right with the Steve Francis. You... Flick your set of balls in your left hand, flick to your left or your right up diagonally, and that's how you left right with the Steve Francis. So, so again, the Steve Francis spin. Hold your left stick down diagonally right, and then flick your left stick up. I mean, your right stick up hey, diagonally hey, right left with a consistent like pace. Once you get the once you get, like a rhythm down, it should it should like be real easy and smooth. You can combo with it. It took me a while to understand it, but it's honestly really easy. And this is how you momentum spam, or how you just momentum in general. So what you do is you hold RT, or you don't have to hold RT, I do though. So what I do is you hold RT, you flick your right stick up, and you follow that with your left stick going up. And it doesn't matter if the ball's in your left or right hand, just flick up. You can flick up, say the ball's in your left hand if you want, you can flick to your right diagonally, like up, and you'll get this, you'll get the momentum. I just don't do that. I was having difficulties with this part of my controller. My stick was jammed. The next move I'm gonna be teaching is a Westbrook crossover. So you can either hold RT while you do this. You go either, so if you hold the RT, flick up on your right stick once. If you do it without holding, if you do about holding RT, you just flick up on your right stick twice real fast. This move is the misdirection. So for the misdirection, 
What you gonna do is say the ball is in your right hand. You flick your right stick down diagonally to the left and flick your left stick up diagonally to the right. And then it's the opposite in your ball. It's so set the balls in your left hand. You do the same thing, just the opposite ways. So you would flick. Uh, shit. You would flick your right stick down diagonally to the right, hey, hey. and flick your left stick up diagonally left. The next move is a moment, like a between the leg momentum like this. So, I don't know how you explain it. So, so like, you hold RT and you take your right. You're going to take your right stick to the balls in your left hand. And you flick down diagonally right with your right stick. And then you moving, follow that moving. with your left stick. And then from there, you take your left stick. Then you flick that down diagonally to the left. Because the ball being your right hand, and you fall that with your right stick, and then you just spam it that way. I don't, I don't, I think it's like the best way I can, yes, that's really like the best way I can explain it. I don't really know how, like a better way to explain it. This move is a misdirection, so you do a Trey Young hop into a Steve Francis, and you can spam it too. So like you can add that up with... The uh, moves I'm showing you right here, so you can miss directions with Steve Francis to make it make it look like you're doing something. You could miss directions, Steve Francis, miss direction, Trey Young. Hey, right you can do snatchbacks of the oldies, like all these moves I'm doing right here. I didn't show you except for the Sham God. I'll show that in the latest tutorial. There's the West Westbrook crossover, all that. Don't mind me being cold. 0 for three. I can, I'm you know I'm a little shaky right now. But you get off cold for me. All right, now we off cold. But pretty much everything I'm doing here, except for the sham guys and the spin and all that, I'm, I didn't pretty much show it in this tutorial. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, like and subscribe. And then I'll also drop another tutorial, a more advanced on how to do combos coming up the court, standstill combos and all that. I'll also be dropping one for six eights. All that stuff, make sure you like and subscribe, uh, comment down what you want to know and what I should have covered in this video too. Um, that's, that's about it, I'm out. Hey, hey.